Hello, welcome to ResoCoder. Toolbar is a significant part of any Android UI. A user expects it to be there and to be useful. While we are not gonna discuss how to make it useful, you're at least going to learn how to make it a part of your app's UI in this tutorial. Toolbars were first added to Android API version 21, otherwise known as Lollipop. If we want to support older versions of Android, such as KitKat, we need to use a support library. That's precisely what we are going to do in this video. So let's install a support library, shall we? You wanna right click on References, Manage NuGet Packages, and let's search for App Compat. We wanna select this Xamarin Android Support v7. App Compat. This was released by Xamarin Incorporated, and we just wanna hit Install. Once we have that, we wanna create a theme for our activity. So we can just close this NuGet Package Manager. And to create a theme, let's go to Values, right click on them, and we wanna add a new item. It's gonna be an XML file, and it's gonna be called Styles. All right, and now we wanna click on Add. Cool, and we are gonna define our theme. We need to add Resources tag, just like this, and then Style. We wanna provide a name for our theme, and it's gonna be equal to App Theme. Also, this theme, app theme, will derive from theme.appcompat. So we want to specify a parent, and it's going to be equal to theme.appcompat. And the capitalization is really important here. All right, and inside this style, we want to write item, name is window node title, and this will be true. Then another item, its name is going to be window action bar, and this is false. And now the last item, the name is color primary, and this will be a color. This is a nice green material color. All right, so what do these items actually do? Well, window no title is pretty self-explanatory. There is not gonna be a title. A default title is the name of the app. So in this case, the title would be Xamarin Dot. Window no action bar says that there should be no action bar displayed. An action bar is an old version of toolbar, so to say. We don't want to display it, because we are actually going to be utilizing a toolbar in its location. You could say that we are going to override the default action bar with a new toolbar. And then this color primary is going to be used as the toolbar color. And now we are going to tell our app that it should use this theme called App Theme. So we want to click on Properties here, and open up Android Manifest. And after this Android label, we want to write Android theme. And this is going to be equal to add style forward slash app theme. Cool stuff. And now we are going to add the toolbar to our layout, which is defined in main.axml. So we want to add a new XML element. And it's going to be called android.support.v7.widget.toolbar. We want to specify an ID, so Android colon ID and this will be equal to add plus id forward slash toolbar. So we are adding an id of toolbar. Then layout width will be match parent, and layout height will be wrap content. If this doesn't make all that much sense to you, check out my tutorial about making a simple Android app in Xamarin. Then Android min height, which is obviously the minimum height that this view is allowed to occupy, and this will be equal to question mark attribute, and the name of the attribute is action bar size. So slash action bar size. Then Android background. And this will be again an attribute. And this time it's gonna be color primary. And this is the color which we have defined in our theme right here. Then we wanna supply an elevation so that it meets material design guideline. So Android elevation. And this will be 4DP, so density independent pixels. And we have already applied a theme to our app as a whole. But now we are gonna apply a different theme just to our toolbar. So Android theme. And this will be equal to add style forward slash theme overlay dot app compat dot dark dot action bar. Now we need to do just one more thing before the toolbar shows up in our main activity we need to manually enable it. So let's go to mainactivity.cs. We need to make one big change, and that is that this main activity won't derive from a regular activity, but rather from app compat activity. And currently we have an error because we aren't using a proper namespace. So just hit control dot and then enter. 
and now we are all set. We need to derive from app compat activity because we are using an app compat support library. Now in the onCreate method, we want to obtain a toolbar from our layout. So we are going to create a variable toolbar and this will be equal to find view by ID. The type of the view is toolbar, but currently we are using a toolbar from android.widget namespace. We want to be using the one from android.support.v7.widget namespace. So let's delete this using statement right here and press again control dot and we want to be using android support v7.widget. All right, and the ID of the toolbar is resource.id.toolbar. Now we want to set this toolbar to be a support action bar, so set support action bar to be this toolbar. And we also want to manually set the title, so support action bar dot title, and this will be equal to tutorial toolbar. Awesome. And now when we run this even on an KitKat emulator, it's gonna run. And yeah, as you can see, we have a functioning toolbar, but this toolbar is of no use at all until we add a menu to it. So let's create a menu for the toolbar. We want to display an icon inside the menu, so we are gonna add it to this app. And you can get a variety of free material icons from material.io. Link is in the description. When you download an icon from that website, you have a directory which contains three folders. You want to open Android and now select everything that's inside it. And now you want to control C to copy and select resources and control V to paste. And this is going to take a while. And now you have an icon that supports all the different screen densities. Now we want to create a menu. For that, we need to create a separate folder under resources. So right click on resources, add folder. It's going to be called menu. And we want to add a new item and it's going to be an XML file. And let's call it toolbar menu. Now add it. So this is going to be a menu. And we want to add two namespaces here. XMLNS Android. And this is equal to HTTP schemas dot android dot com forward slash apk forward slash res forward slash android and now we want to copy this and add yet another namespace but this time it's going to be called app and we want to delete this android and forward slash and it's going to be res auto cool and now we want to add a menu item its id is going to be menu info android icon will be the one that we have just added so Android icon is equal to add drawable and the name of the icon is in one of these drawable folders. So in this case, it's IC info outline Y 24 DP. Cool. And now we want to set app show as action and we want to set this to if room. And basically this says that this menu item should always try to be shown inside the menu and not inside the overflow menu. The overflow menu is those three dots. Usually those three dots contain something which is not used so regularly or if there is no room on the screen. And also Android title will be equal to info. Now we can just copy this item, paste it down here. It will have ID of menu overflow. It's not going to have any icon. We want to always put this item inside the overflow menu. So show as action will be set to never and the title will be overflow. Now let's run the app inside an emulator and there is no menu. That's because we need to add it programmatically. So let's go to mainactivity.cs. We want to add a new method. It's going to be public override bool on create options menu. And we want to call a method on menu inflator. The name of the method is inflate and we want to inflate our menu, which is located here. So we want to write resource dot menu dot toolbar menu and we want to inflate this menu into menu which is a parameter of this method and let's run this again and we have a menu yay but currently it doesn't do anything useful except for being there we obviously need to add that functionality ourselves so let's create yet another method public override bool on options menu selected and in this tutorial, we are just going to display a simple toast, but obviously you can do anything you like inside this method. So string text to show and if item, which is passed into this method as an argument. So item dot item ID, which is an ID that we have defined right here. And if this is equal to resource dot ID 
that menu info text to show will be equal to learn more about us on our website and else so when we click on the overflow menu item text to show will be equal to overflow cool and now we want to make a toast which is located inside android.widget namespace and we want to make text context is this activity the text will be equal to the title of the menu item so item dot title formatted and we want to concatenate the column and then the text to show it will have a long length and then we just want to show it now let's again try and run this inside an emulator and when we click on this eye icon it's gonna display info learn more about us on our website and when we go to the overflow and click on overflow again it's gonna say overflow and that is just awesome do you want to finally find a good calculator for your Android smartphone? Download OneCalc, the simple scientific calculator made with you in mind. Customize it to your liking, choose from lots of beautiful material themes and most importantly, save time. Be efficient, use OneCalc. Get it on Google Play from the link in the description. If you wanna get the code from this tutorial, go to the link in the video description which is gonna take you to resocoder.com. If this video helped you to be a little bit better Xamarin Android developer, click on the like button and also share it. If you don't wanna miss more videos like this, subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell button. If you have anything to say, leave a comment, follow me on social media and see you in the next video.